More than $1 million have been raised so far during this year's Texoma Gives. This 16 hour day of giving for local nonprofits kicked off at 6 a.m., and Shatani Clark was there at the very beginning and has a wrap up on today's events so far. COVID-19 really knocked a lot of these nonprofits out of the ring, but every dollar counts to help these organizations fulfill their mission. For the fifth year, area nonprofits put their trust in Texoma to give with open hearts toward causes they care about so they can keep their mission going for years to come. We offer um, relapse prevention for uh, people in our community. We've got hundreds of students that are suffering from food insecurities due to the COVID virus or other emergencies that have come up. Um, and they really rely on us to support them. The president of the Wichita Falls Area Community Foundation, Leslie Schaffner, says she believes Texomans have seen the immense value of nonprofits. Organizations have been strapped for cash during this pandemic, but still continue to serve. We definitely need um, financial security to be able to pay for the, the hay and the food and the um, Here the care of the horses. I hope at the end of this day, the organizations that have participated look at their totals and go, wow, the community has supported us in a mighty way and we are so thankful because as a community, we are thankful to have these nonprofits. About 200 organizations hope the community believes in them enough to pay it forward to a cause that serves this community. Now, Schaffner says, of course, they would like to surpass the $1.2 million last raised, but this year, they don't have a monetary goal. Shatani, thank you for that. Now, let's take a look at the latest numbers. As of right now, Alney Christian Community Center, Pets, Low Cost Bay Neuter Clinic, and River Bend Nature Center have raised the most money so far. It's a little bit hard to see right there, but Alney's Community Center has come in at number one with more than $126,000 in donations. We'll check back in at 10 o'clock to see the final numbers.